Hi everyone, welcome to our new video lecture of AutoCAD. In this lecture, we will discuss how to draw involute for a circle. And in the previous video, we have seen how to draw involute for a pentagon or any kind of polygon also can be drawn by that method. So, this lecture will see how to draw involute for a circle. So, first of all, we will create a new page and by that we can create a new page. We can see here the start tab is there and this is our uh, drawing sheet 1 that means a new drawing page was opened in our screen and in this page we have to draw the involute for a circle. So first of all I will create a uh, drawing page for uh, my diagram for that I will go for the some settings MB setup and page setup is no and metric style inuit type is metric M and scale factor is 1 and paper width is 420 and paper height is 297 by that i have created a new page new drawing sheet we can say so you can see this drawing sheet and uh, apart from that i'll go for some other settings like o snuff let me check it whether all these options are selected or not i can go for select all yeah okay and uh, unit uh, unit also i can check it yeah, precision we can go for zero decimal is given okay and the remaining all are okay in my uh, AutoCAD settings. So we will go for directly the question. So this is the question for how to draw the involute uh, or to draw an involute of a given diameter of the generating circle is 50 mm and also draw the tangent and normal to the curve at 150 mm from the center of the circle. So the diameter of the circle given 50 mm. So let uh, draw a circle by the common you can do circle specify the center point of the circle. So, so this is the radius of the circle asking 25. So this is the we can check it whether we drawn correct or not. You can see diameter is 50 mm. So that means our diagram is correct. So for this, we have to draw the involute. Now I will draw one line for this first and the line should be drawn from the center point to this last and I have to draw a, a circumference for that. You can go for it how much uh, circumference is pi d. So T diameter and pi is here 3.14 so it will come 157 so I will go for 157 enter so two things at a time we can do or we can do one by one uh, both different ways so now this line I will divide into uh, number of segments so divide command and select the line enter the number of segments we have to enter uh, we can divide into eight types or we can divide go for 12 also it is our wish so i have divided the line but it is not visible so what i'll do i'll go for this utilities i'll select the point style so point style here it is point wise like a dot wise is there i have to change it to some different uh, symbols so i can change it in this manner so now I will select all these points. This you can see just I have selected, clicked on in this point and drag here. So this line as well as all the circumference and all the points are selected. This one I need to go for array. Array command and then you can select the polar array and select the center point. Now you can see it was automatically array polar array into uh, six types because here the item is given six so i need to change it to uh, eight because i have divided already the line into eight segments so this was the division i can little bit reduce the point size it is given point size four i can have five given i can change it to some other so i have changed to four little more we can change it utilities point style uh, let it to 3 
yeah uh, it sound good so this is the division we have divided now the next term is we have to select the point from starting point 1 to up to last so uh, first of all we can give the point also text we need to go for it so here text command is there single line text we need to select and uh, here we can start select the point and give the text height of some value and enter the rotation angle of the text the 0 degree and we can type yes so you can see a blink will be there on the screen so here we can give 1 2 3 uh, so this is 4 this is 5 6 and this is 7 and this is 8 so actually the first point need to be started from here and this is the p point okay i'll change it this one also so this can be changed to p point and this is your one two is there and this this one this one all these points okay it is not moving one by one point we can move it so now you can see it is not moving in incline because our ortho is on so i will do like this this is the seventh point and this is the eighth point and one more let me copy this and I will keep it here and this one I can change it to 3 ok so this is the line point location I have given now what I will do I have to join all these points one by one so I will select the spline here and I will start from in this point first point so this is the first one and uh, as I will move my cursor from first line to the next one I will go for the next point that is second point this is first one I have selected the first point so next line I'll, I have to go for the second similarly third line I have to go for the third point so one two three so this is the third point similarly the next line this is the next line either 1 2 3 4 this is the fourth point and next is 1 2 3 4 5 yeah this is the fifth one and here 1 2 3 4 5 6 sixth one and this is the seventh one and this one is the eighth so i can select like this Okay, this came out, it should be up to here only. Yeah, now I can change it. Change tangent direction. I can keep here. So now you can see our curve is somehow better. So this one I can give it to some different colors. As per our wish we can give that color. And the layer also you can change it to some different layer. Like means we can increase the thickness of the line. And so here I have increased the thickness of the line. I have changed the color also. So the color is as per our wish. We can change any of the color and we can keep 
normal white color also you can keep it now this point also need to be uh, marked here and the extra points what is there that need to be deleted so for deleting these extra points this is actually uh, a joint one because we have done this one by array method so these things first need to be explored we need to by using the explore command we need to uh, separate these lines from the uh, joining so now it is exploded now you can go for it I'll just okay this things not to be not need to be related so I can delete like this and here also the same thing yeah now the extra line which is out of the car that can be trimmed so with the help of trim command I can trim this We can keep this point inside this or also we can delete it but let it uh, keep the point here so it will be uh, can be easily identified or if you want to delete also you can delete it by selecting this all the things you can delete one by one whenever we want to delete something we have to select like this a blue color box will be there uh, when you drag our mouse then a blue color tick mark will be there and by that we can delete this so this like this we can complete the <coughs> cycle of the circle and the next thing is the next thing is we need to draw the tangent and normal on this point and before that we can give some uh, diameter we can mark it 50 and we can mark the length of this circumference from here to here 157 and uh, some other text is there that also we can mark it so like from here we can start uh, 3 enter 0 enter so this is 1 and this is 2, this is 3, and this is 4, this is 5, this is 6, and this is 7, and this one is the 8th one. Similarly, this point need to be given P1, and this is your P2, this, will, this is your P3, then P4, then P5, and here it is P6 and here it is P7 and finally P8. So text and dimension both are completed. Now we will go for the uh, tangent and normal. The tangent normal we can draw uh, as per the question given or we can take any arbitrary point on the uh, curve. So here the question is given, we need to draw a tangent normal of the curve 150 mm from the center of the circle. So for this we need to draw a circle of a radius asking, let give this 75. So it is very small is there, so we will increase the circle. 150 yeah 150 is somehow better you can see the circle which we have drawn that cross this curve at a certain point that point need to be selected so we will give a point on this point the meeting point of the circle and curve after that we can delete this 
and next uh, line need to be selected. So this point actually cross this curve between the P7 and P8. So P7, P8 center point is our P8 point. So that need to be drawn like this directly and this is your normal point, normal of this and we can extend this and that can be also uh, increase the thickness of this line and this is the normal and tangent how we can draw this line we can copy it so for that rotate command ro uh, this base point right click copy and make an angle of 90 degree so you can get the tangent of this so this is the normal and tangent of the <coughs> cycloid on the curve so suppose the point will get here so from here we can join the tangent to the actually this point no need to uh, join for the p8 point that should be joined to the this line supposed to be joined to the tangent point actually this line supposed to be joined to the tangent point of the circle and finally we can give the text single line text is there and here again 3 comma enter 0 so this is here t and t dash we can give and this is your n and this one we can give and yes. So this is all about the involute of a circle. So I hope all of you understood. If any kind of doubt is there, you can give a comment on the comment box. So thank you all of you.